ex-Deputy President William Ruto has pledged to reduce the cost of food in the country if elected to office in the August 9th poll. The Deputy President who spoke during the Kenya Kwanzaa campaigns in Kambani said his administration will empower farmers with subsidized inputs and also financial bailouts. Ruto says that the increase on food and commodity prices is as a result of structural problems in the management of the food production chain in the country. JJ Kiria reports. The Kenya Kwanzaa presidential candidate was in Ukambani, holding a series of rallies in Kitui and Machakas counties. Even with the subsidy offered by government on the price of maize flour bringing down the cost of a 2 kg packet to 100 shillings, Ruto promised to empower farmers by providing subsidized inputs as a sustainable way of reducing the cost of food commodities. Tunaweka pesa ya serikali kwa kilimo, tupunguze gharama ya mbolea, ile inauzwa shilingi elfu na elfu saba saizi, tupunguze mbaka shilingi elfu mbili na miatano. Na tuwasaidia wakulima wetu mbu, eh, mbegu. Kila mkulima aweze kuzalisha chakula zaidi, aweke pesa kwa mfuko, na chakula ipatikane kwa bei nafu, ili kila mkenya aweze kulisha familia yake na tuondoe aibu ya njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya. The deputy president blames the rise in cost of living to structural failures in the agricultural chain. Ndiyo tunawaambia sisi ndio tuko na mpango ya kuzalisha chakula tuweze kuondoa hii matatizo ya njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya. Mtakubali watu wa matu tutembee pamoja? Matu tunakubali tutembee pamoja? With approximately 5 million youths unemployed or lacking sustainable jobs, Ruto says his administration would set aside 200 billion shillings as the Marshall Plan for youth empowerment. Katika hiyo Marshall Plan tunaweka billioni miambili kila mwaka kwa textile industry, leather industry, agro-processing, value addition, manufacturing, mambo ya housing. Ndiyo tupange ajira ya hawa vijana kama hatua yetu ya dharura, an emergency crisis program so that the young people of this country can find a job to do and a business to do so that we can get them out of the hopelessness that is there today. Ruto and the Kenya Kwanza leaders rallied area residents to support the alliance saying his team had high prospects of occupying state house mtu amekuunga mkono mara mbili alafu unakuja kumuuliza jina yake ati wewe unaitwa nani sio ni madharao ni kweli ama si kweli ni kweli ama si kweli tafadhali munisaidie tufukuze hii mtu awaje kutesa watu nyinyi watu wa hapa lower eastern nyinyi mnahitaji maji Munaitaji watoto wenu wapate kazi. Lazima muwe katika serikali. Hapo ukambani angalia vile tuko wengi hapa. 50% imeshahama imekuja kwa Ruto. Ni ukuli yeye huyu mtu atashinda namna gani? Atashinda namna gani? The deputy president was invading Kalonza Musyoka's backyard of Kitui and Machakos County, rallying area residents around his presidential bid, promising to protect Kalonza Musyoka's political interests if he's elected to office. Tomorrow, the tour takes him to Makueni County and later Taita Taveta. John Jacob Curia, Prime Edition.